Welcome back. You might have noticed this here just southwest of downtown Indianapolis. Some unique construction underway near the corner of Westmore Street and Dover Street along the White River. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker shows us the people behind this project hope it will drastically change this part of the Circle City. Work is underway on the site, which will soon become the Back Nine Golf and Entertainment venue. Owner Paul Page says he can't wait to welcome people in this spring. You can bring your family, you can bring you know your friends, you can bring your your wives, your husbands. It's a, uh, it's a pretty much a golf venue with an entertainment side to it. Uh, there's a beer garden. There's 75 bays. The 58,500 square foot facility will also have space for conferences and meetings. This location is great for Indianapolis, very proximate to downtown. Uh, lots and lots of tourist traffic, lots and lots of games in town. James Valbrick's company, Flight Technology, also has a stake in Back Nine, handling the gaming experience for future guests. He too is confident the area is perfect for what they're trying to do. It's easily reached from almost anywhere. It's a great spot. But it's not just those with a stake in Back Nine who are excited about it. This is called the Valley Neighborhood. Jay Napoleon is the president of the Valley Neighborhood Association, which is right up the street from Back Nine. Through a lot of work from a lot of people, all of our neighborhoods are seen as, because of their location, they're now a place to reimagine. Reimagining is needed for the area because for more than 10 years, the location of the former GM plant has been vacant. The GM stamping plant, Chevrolet, uh, was the big industry around here. With plans for the former GM site to become the headquarters for Elanco and Back Nine set to open in May of this year, Jay tells me he expects the neighborhood he calls home to experience a reemergence and finally be connected to downtown Indianapolis. We're within a mile of the circle. We are on the White River. That should mean something. That means something in most cities. It should mean something here in Indianapolis. Cornelius Hawker, WRTV.